So, um, the CEO of Unity decided to single-handedly destroy any hopes of us developers ever trusting the Unity game engine again and buy that kid of our favorite game engine. And if you're like me, I bet I can summon up all of your fears and thoughts in one sentence. This sucks. But, but, but do not fear my fellow Unity Warrior because I'm going to tell you right now what you must do now if you want to keep on developing video games. Okay, first things first, to get this out of the room once and for all, should you still keep on using Unity in hopes that they will change the shit show of a monetizing scheme? Or even better, what if you are not even planning on making money with your games and just want to start to learn making games? No! You definitely need to switch to another game engine. And trust me, I know this sucks. Switching engines is not a small inconvenience. It takes much time and effort to pick up a new game engine. And heck, maybe you even need to learn a new programming language altogether. Okay, but no worries. I will tell you in a bit which other engines I would recommend. But first, here's the reason why you definitely need to let Unity go. As you should know by now, Unity will put in a policy beginning next year, which will force developers to pay up to 20 cents per instant. Install. Yes, install. And now some people might say, but your game has to be installed at least 200,000 times needed to create $200,000 in income. This can't possibly be bad, Dad. And either way, I am far away from those numbers. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, okay. How do you explain this then? Creators who made free-to-play games with in-game revenue like Dani now owe more money than they have made with their game. The other harsh truth is that this policy change just dropped overnight and they even had to illegally change the terms of services and their response to when asked how they even want to track installs just was <laughs> trust us bro yeah does this company sound like a company you would trust in managing your game revenue or should support in any other way yeah right but do not fear because there is hope for all of us as you might have heard by now the next stop for us all seems to be the godot godot engine <laughs> with its perfectly crazy amazingly well written documentation or you could take this chance to start your journey as a more professional game dev and start using the unreal engine and yes i know there are still other engines but these these two engines should practically be your only options because of this single reason. Community support. Unreal and especially Godot have as of now the best thriving YouTube tutorial and content communities when taking Unity out of the equation. And to be honest, I could list you now the pros and cons for those engines like Godot very likely becoming the next hotspot for indie devs and thus having the biggest and best amount of tutorials for new devs, or the Unreal Engine being an industry staple and thus is opening so 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 much doors when it comes to professional game development projects and more prestige. But in my opinion, the best way to decide for yourself which engine to learn is to do this. Create a super 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 small game in Unity and then create an exact copy of it in the Godot and then Unreal Engine. After that you should just pick up the engine which you like the most. And I know this maybe is not what you have what hoped you for, doing? but in my opinion this is the best way to do now. And this is exactly what I will do right now, because even I have to say farewell to Unity after basing my whole channel off of it. But I will also make a video about this. But hey, depending on which engine I will choose, I think it will be the Godot engine but I'm not quite sure. I will again produce the best game dev tutorials for beginners on whole of YouTube. Again, I know this sucks for all of us, but let's get through this together.